when we're looking at foliar disease management in soybean, uh, really we're trying to do that at an earlier stage than we're at in this crop where we're at our later our R5 production point where, where we've got a full seed almost in the, in the crop. When, when we're looking at that, really we need to be more in our, our flowering, we're scouting during flowering, and then right when we get into that R3 growth stage where we're setting pods in those upper four nodes where we have pod set, from there to early R4 where those pods start to elongate, that's gonna be our key time for the decision to use that fungicide or not. The two main diseases that we have are gonna be our brown spot, which is that common disease in a lot of our fields in the bottom of the canopy, causes that canopy to prematurely defoliate and yellow, it'll have those dark lesions in it on those leaves that, that yellow out. Uh, the other disease that we're seeing more commonly is frog eye leaf spot, and both of these are gonna be controlled when we're looking at a foliar fungicide application. When you're trying to decide, you know, a fungicide product to use, it's really important to make sure, you know, one of the things that, that you're looking at is that you have these newer products with multiple modes of action. When we look at the potential for resistance development and specifically for frog eye where we've seen strobilurin fungicide resistance, you know, really good idea to make sure you're using multiple modes of action in those products so that you're not uh, just increasing that chance of resistance development. So if you're trying to make that decision, uh, and, and looking at profitability with it, if you've got a lot of brown spot, if you've got frog eye leaf spot starting, have a history of frog eye leaf spot, and you've got a susceptible variety, that's where you're gonna wanna look at making that application in that R3 to early R4 growth stage.